Hey guys, Bridget here. In this video, we're going to continue our design system by adding some icons to the system. Now, another thing that we're going to do by the end of the video is also reorganize the textiles in a very easy and fast way using a plugin, which I'm going to show you in just a moment. But now let's talk all about icons. So in order to add icons to the design system, we're going to leverage this material design icons which uh, you can find on this link in Figma. I'm going to leave uh, it in the link in the description or in the comments below. So feel free to check it out. And essentially, as you can see in this uh, kit, uh, we're going to find all sorts of different icons from field to outline, grounded, and uh, basically so on and so forth. Now, for our specific uh, uh, design needs, uh, we're only going to leverage the outlines so the way that uh, we're going to make it work uh, is essentially we're going to copy all of these icons since uh, as you can see, if we go and zoom in individually, these are all uh, components. So the moment that uh, we copy these in our design files, uh, they're going to essentially be available in the components panel. Now I'm going to show you this right away and um, we're going to add a new page which is called icons and uh, let's uh, paste it in. And as you can see, we have uh, our icons. And if you go under the assets panel, you can see that now we have uh, under local components, the different type of icons. So we can easily uh, browse through them. We can uh, search for specific icons and we can drag and drop them in our project and uh, even potentially sync this library to multiple files so that the, the design system can work at scale. Now, of course, um, this is all good, but uh, if you, let's say that you wanted to add uh, a new icon to the equation. So let's say that we're creating this icon right here. You might be wondering uh, how to do it. Well, the answer is uh, pretty simple. So as you can see in the layers panel, uh, these are just like individual uh, components. So we're going to um, basically go over here, right? For example, icon 55 and uh, create a component out of it. Now, the moment that uh, I uh, write icon 55, you can see that now we're going to have it under our components panel. So we can literally drag and drop it and create the different uh, instances. So that's pretty much in a nutshell how you can go about uh, adding new icons. I'm going to undo this because I want to keep the original. But um, yeah, this is uh, uh, pretty much it. You can create uh, your own uh, custom icons. You can, but usually, what I like to do for 99.9% .9 of the client projects is to leverage an existing icon set, which uh, um, I feel is going to be working in that specific project. Now, there isn't like a universal icon set, which is going to work for each and every design style and, and company. So you're going to have to make your call based on different variables. But one thing that I definitely recommend you to keep in mind uh, is uh, things like uh, well first of all scalability so they have to be in svg format uh, so that uh, you can literally um, like take these icons and uh, scale them to the moon potentially so you don't want the icons in uh, png and uh, jpeg and you also want uh, a big uh, icon library because you never really want to run out of icons or having to always uh, design custom custom icons, especially if it's a project where um, maybe you're on time constraints, so you can really allocate uh, time and, and energies in uh, that department to match. And uh, also other thing is uh, consistency. You want an icon set which is consistent and is going to work well in the, the specific devices which you intend uh, to work on uh, in that specific design file. Um, or, or project. And uh, usually nowadays, needless to say, we're in 2021, so everything has to be responsive. So always keep that in mind.